Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Easton Cook and I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline. I'm also a flight attendant instructor for the flight attendant training session that every candidate must successfully complete in order to be qualified as a flight attendant. More specifically, I teach the emergency aspect of the flight attendant job. So I, uh, I teach what to do in a plane crash or in an evacuation, decompression, the plane catches on fire or that's just to name a few. And I mention this to give confidence in all that I'm about to tell you regarding Japan Airlines Flight 516 or JAL 516. If you haven't heard yet, JAL 516 collided with another aircraft upon landing today. Now please understand we're not going to talk about specifics of the crash or whose fault is it or anything of that nature. This video is to specifically look at the heroic acts of the flight attendants on board the aircraft. This was an A350, a wide body, which means there's two aisles, it's a big plane. And on this A350, everybody survived. As you can see here, the slides are blown and everyone evacuated, everyone lived. This is an absolute miracle. Now while that was a miracle, there was a tragedy as well. The plane that JAL 516 collided with was a Coast Guard plane on the runway and this collision happened almost immediately after landing. As of this recording, five of the six Coast Guard crew are confirmed to have been killed. It's unthinkable and I'm genuinely praying for those families. And as I mentioned on the A350, everyone survived the crash everyone escaped the aircraft. And let me tell you, as far as emergencies go, these are the basics for flight attendants to know. Here's a video taken from inside the cabin by a passenger who filmed the landing and the fire outside. Now once the plane came to a complete stop after landing, the flight crew jumped into action. Their heroic acts alongside the grace of God are the reason that the passengers and crew survived. In this video, I'm gonna cover three important takeaways of what the flight attendants did and explain why they did it. Now understand that more details will likely emerge later, so stay up to date with the story as it unfolds because this is extremely fresh. And obviously I can only comment on the known facts as of now. And before I dive into the first point, here's just a warning. I'm showing footage of the crash from inside the aircraft um, taken from Reuters and we'll start with this clip from CNN which gives you an overview of what happened and also gives you the footage of the plane just after the collision watch How Airlines work. What do you see happened here? I'm seeing a wake-up call here Phil around the world also especially here in the US We'll get to that in a second. The images are incredible. You can see the uh, Airbus A350 burning there. But what is really poignant to me is the video from NHK where you see this uh, Japan Airlines Flight 516 flight come into land on runway 34 left at Haneda Airport. This is very uh, telling here because you can see the immediate aftermath of the nose gear on fire of this plane as it's decelerating down the runway. What we do not see is what is just out of frame on the right. We don't see the moment of collision uh, with that Japanese Coast Guard Dash 8. That's a twin turboprop airline. We know that uh, airplane, we know that six people were on board that plane. Five of them are dead. The captain is in critical condition. Haneda Airport, this happened around 5.47 p.m. local time, about 3.47 a.m. here on the East Coast. As four runways, there are two parallel runways that go north and south. This was on runway 34 right. And then there are two other parallel runways that sort of buttress that on the north edge and the south edge of the airport. Uh, the real question here is uh, what, who is in the wrong place at the wrong time? Uh, as you can see, the plane is on fire, and when the aircraft comes to a complete stop, the flight attendants must act quick. There's no time to worry, no time to wonder, no time to hope that someone else will do your job for you. Footage from inside the aircraft taken by a passenger shows the cabin filling with smoke, and it shows the red glow of fire around the aircraft. You'll also hear people screaming out phrases like, open the door, get us out quick, let us off. Um, and some of these phrases are, are found in other articles, some you'll hear in the video itself. Watch. <laughs> Having seen that video, the first thing I'd like to talk about is why the flight attendants didn't open the door immediately. Flight attendants are trained that once the aircraft comes to a complete stop, then we're allowed to get up and we must look outside and inside to ensure the conditions are clear and safe. Because sometimes, depending on the conditions, it'll be safer to stay on the aircraft and other times it may be necessary to evacuate nearly immediately. A flight attendant must assess and then quickly make a decision. For example, if there's fire outside that aircraft door, then that's not an ideal exit. Also, the cabin has a controlled flow of air coming into it. 
If there was a fire inside the cabin, for example, then the flight attendant opening the door too soon may actually introduce new oxygen to the fire and create a flash fire within the cabin. And all these things a flight attendant must consider in mere seconds. This is why the flight attendants did not immediately open the door, even with passengers calling for it. In an emergency, a flight attendant's true job is revealed. They are the ones to stay calm and collected even when those around them may not be. But in this particular event, with the footage we've seen, Passengers seem to be pretty decently calm. Given an emergency like this, passengers seem to be pretty calm, and that can be attributed to the flight attendants as well through the screaming that you heard. And this is the second thing that I want to address. Flight attendants will shout commands before, during, and following an emergency. Commands are pretty straightforward. It's to give that clear instruction and to keep control of the cabin. And that clear instruction was clearly given here by these spectacular flight attendants. Everybody evacuated, and they evacuated quickly. So far from the reports I've read, no reported baggage was taken off the aircraft. And this is so important for a speedy and safe evacuation. You must leave all belongings on the aircraft and get off the plane. Bringing anything with you, even a small bag, could jeopardize a whole evacuation. And just a small example of this, if you wanted to bring like a small bag and, and it's a smoke-filled cabin and you scramble to put the small bag on and you're trying to evacuate, you're going up the aisles and all of a sudden that little bag strap gets caught on an armrest or a, a headrest or something like that and all of a sudden it takes you about three seconds to remove it well, you just blocked the passengers behind you for three seconds, which that three seconds could be the difference between suffocating on the smoke or evacuating the aircraft and living. And what the flight crew did here was absolutely incredible because they kept the passengers calm and took control of the situation, which is exactly what a flight attendant should do. And that is what commands are for and why flight attendants train the way we do. I've mentioned in other videos before that pouring a drink or serving a meal anyone can do. Customer service comes naturally to most people. It's when a flight attendant must perform their true job function that shows why they're really on the plane. And the crew on JAL 516 did just that. And lastly, I want to talk about the flight attendant's job itself. And truthfully, this is a moment where I just want to point out that flight attendants are in fact on the flight to ensure that you have a safe and comfortable experience. But here's the deal. The comfortable part is the part that tends to be uh, focused on the most. Yet, Safe comes first for a reason. Flight attendants are primarily there for your safety. And whether you're a frequent flyer or someone who refuses to fly or someone in between, I wanna take a moment to use this absolutely awful event to remind you why flight attendants are really there. Because too often, especially lately, flight attendants have just been straight up disrespected. We are there to make sure that you get from A to B as safely as possible. So the tedious things that you really hate when we go through and talk about, like for safety checks, like, uh, hey, we need the bags tucked under the seat, uh, laptops put away, we need that aisle armrest lowered, seat bags in the upright and locked position, all these things that just, it, it annoys people. Remember that we do that, we do these safety checks because if this ever happens, ever, then we're prepared for it and we can get you off that aircraft as safely as possible, as demonstrated by these incredible flight attendants on Japan Airlines Flight 516. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Join me in praying for all those affected by this terrible event. I'll talk to you all next time. God be with you.